with the title track, Noah Khan. Drink alcohol till my friends come home for Christmas and I'll dream each night of some version of you. But who is Noah Khan? Well, he's a 26-year-old musician who started making music at nine years old, learned guitar at 12, and started writing after that. He was born and raised in a tiny town of about a thousand people called Stratford in Vermont, which is why Vermont gets so many honorable mentions in his song. Anyway, growing up, he would often post his music on YouTube and SoundCloud, and he was still in high school when he got a message from a manager at Republic Records. He signed with the company in 2017 and deferred admission to Tulane University so he could pursue music. When I was eight years old, yeah. I said, this is all I want to do. <laughs> That's I had, perfect. I had nothing else that I was ever really very good at. I wasn't yeah. a great student. I was kind of obnoxious and loud yeah. and couldn't focus. And yeah. all I wanted was music. And I actually wrote a letter to myself in sixth grade that I opened up when I was a senior in high school. And it was like, if you don't have a record deal by now, like what the hell are you doing with your life? And yeah. when I opened it up in, uh, in high school, my senior year, I had a record deal and I felt like I had made myself proud, that little <laughs> kid's dream, you know? Okay, back to the plot. So from 2017 to 2019, No Khan saw a lot of success. For example, he released his first single, Youngblood, that had over 9 million streams. But Noah Khan said of this period, quote, when I would write songs that were more poppy in a studio, I would go home and write a song that was more folky just for me because I felt like I was accessing that inner child. And when the pandemic hit in 2020, that's exactly what he did. He went home back to Vermont and recorded folky music. Snippets of his song Stick Season went viral on TikTok and pretty much blew up from there. Oh, and here's a fun story about the first song he ever wrote. The first song I ever wrote was called Wednesday is the Worst Days of My Life and I sang it at my talent show, and then I had to go to mandatory therapy for two weeks with the school guidance counselor, because people were so concerned. It was a banger, honestly, but they just couldn't understand it yet. Another fun fact, his mom is an author, so often helped him with lyrics growing up. Now, Noah Khan has been a big fan of Post Malone's, and six years ago, he posted a video of himself doing a cover to Post Malone's Congratulations. since I was young, they said I won't be nothing. And now they say congratulations. Worked so hard that we forgot how to vacation. I don't like it, man, they threw me in the car. Six years later, Post Malone was featured on one of Noah Kant's songs, Dial Drunk. Here's Noah talking about the first time they hung out. Uh, he like was playing beer pong with so many different people, I was like a big line, and I was like, I, I don't know, he was so cool, I was a little starstruck, and so I didn't want to be like, I've got a table, dude, like, yeah. get the <laughs> out of here, Color Daddy <laughs> podcast, it's my turn. Uh <laughs> oh, and here's one more clip that I just found funny. I think something about me that could surprise people is that I speak Spanish. I, I lived for a year in Costa Rica, so I learned Spanish there. Through your little Spanish? Yeah, this is really just for, it's just for the sound, but I can't really speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah.